Hello all of you, all the IEI and IFOI students, since your exams are approaching, uh, IAI exams are just round the corner, IFO exams are in, are in April. So I have just uh, laid down a few points uh, for revision. Um, now these are the key points which I used to follow while giving my actual papers both from IFOA and IEI. So first very important is the chapter summaries. Now you will see that uh, in your textbook after each chapter there is a one pager or a two pager summary. Very important uh, for last minute revision. You can maybe go through all the chapter summaries just the day before of your exam. Next is X assignment and Y assignments. Now Y assignments are only for paper B which is there in CM and CS papers. Apart from that X assignments are there in all the uh, actuarial examinations. It's extremely important there are either 4, 5 or 6 X assignments. Very important for the concept clearance. Uh, quick revision, quick understanding whether you know or uh, understand all the concepts or not. So you can and it's a proper 100 marks paper like all the X assignments a proper 100 marks paper so you can sit and you can maybe practice it as a mock or I will suggest that at least solve all the X assignments two times trust me you get a lot of questions similar to X assignments now past papers are again very important if you are appearing from IEI then please make sure that you are at least solving 10 to 15 terms of past papers same for IFA. Now since IEA has turned 100% MCQ for the CMCS and CB papers, you might not get very similar questions but at least you will understand the flow. The difficulty level of the questions is also very important and here I would like to mention that uh, on our portal you will see we have thousands of MCQs uploaded and in our classes also we are frequently practicing all the MCQs for CMCS and CB papers. Please make sure you attend these lectures if you haven't been already or you uh, start watching the videos that it's been uploaded and start solving all the questions which are there. Why? Because it will uh, because you will understand the flow. If you are just doing it yourself, you might not understand how to approach the question. Now approaching the question is extremely important because you cannot waste time while solving these questionnaires, right? So again, very, very important that you solve all the past papers. Um, for CP, C, uh, SP and SA levels, again, past paper solving becomes very important. Specifically for IFOI students, you all have examiner's report. Going through examiner's report is extremely uh, important because you understand the points, right? Here, I would also like to add on the assets. Now, assets or assets are basically important for CP1, SP and SA level examinations. At least I did assets of all these papers because you understand the flow of your uh, answers, how to uh, generate good points, how to, what should be the length and breadth of different questions. Um, there are some key words that they use, explain, how, comment, state, what are the differences between these words, what should be the breadth of the question according to the marks given. So very important to do assets and generally I think it uh, contains five past papers and it explains it in a very elaborate manner. So very good for CP, SP and SA levels. Class notes extremely important for CMCS papers. So if you have taken classes from us, your all the class notes for CMCS is very important. CS to students know this that I have been like asking them to read the class notes on a daily basis. So CS to students, if you read your class notes at least like a half an hour, 40 minutes daily, then you are very good to go because concept building is very important. And CB2 students, the compiler which I share with you all, again, very, very important. Now, since the exams are online uh, proctoring now for IFO, IEI both, you don't, have, you don't have to worry about the referencing, right? Um, also, you might get certain questions which are complete book work, which earlier we used to not get in IFO. So now you get into the habit bit of memorizing few points as well because you might get certain questions like what are the functions of central bank for example for CB2 let's suppose for CM1 they might ask you about the Reddington's theory so these book work questions they will give you now you can expect these kind of questions so don't ignore them also I have not added a point over here but it's extremely important that you start practicing the comments 
comments are extremely important for CMCS papers also. Apart from these, because you get approximately 20-25 marks of comment in CM2, CS2. CM and CS1, it's generally a little less, but it's more or less 15 to 20 marks of comments. So make sure while practicing your past papers, you go through the comments of each question and make sure you write certain keywords so that you can revise them just before your examination. Thank you so much. If you want to know more about, you know, how you can plan your revision strategies, you just let me know. Also, one more thing, just make a list of all of these. And as you go on practicing, just keep a tick mark. And also, just have a calendar planned out. Weekly targets are very important. So set weekly targets that this week I will complete three X assignments, one Y assignment and two past papers. So this way you will be able to, you know, uh, plan your entire two months very nicely. All the best. And if you have any doubts, just let me know. Thank you.